Hello, this is John McRae for part two of creating dynamic skills in Unity 3D. I've expanded the first video to now include the instantiation of a skill upon a trigger event happening. So if I look real quick, I am using just the default third person controller that comes with the standard assets. I've added a skill manager with nothing in it. I replaced the Ethan character model with the cowboy characters from Cinti Studios. The very first thing you see that I've added a skill giver. What it is is actually just a default cube that I've hidden as a box collider with is trigger selected and I've attached this skill giver script. The first thing I added was a audio source script to play a sound effect whenever a skill is discovered and by default remember to uncheck play on away. Inside of there I have just a, a weapon. This is what the player can see so it influences them to go and discover the skill. And so if I click play we'll see that I've got just a little rotate script around here and if I check out our our player still no skills so I'm going to go and collide with the weapon. Sound effect plays and a new skill has been added. The skill that was added was actually defined based on the skill giver object here and then I've got a skill to give and that's your skill name your type skill types can be passive social physical combat skill level that you're going to give the player amount of current experience destroy time is also customizable and that's largely influenced based on how long of a sound effect you have that plays whenever you discover the sound so let's look at the code here's our properties some null checks here's where I'm overriding the play on awake in case you forget to uncheck in the audio source. And essentially, on trigger enter, I'm checking the collision tag, and if it's equal to your player tag, then we're going to play the audio, and then we're going to go to our skill manager, which we wrote last time, add the new skill, the skill to give, which is what we defined in the editor, and then destroy the game object after the destroyed amount of time. Now, let's go through the exercise of creating this all from scratch. So I'm going to delete skill giver. I'm going to delete the third person controller. So in the standard assets, I'm going to go to characters, third person character, and prefabs. I'm going to click and drag the third person controller over. And I'm just going to then open up our scripts folder, assign the skill manager, done. And then I'm going to create a cube. It can be whatever you like, any kind of mesh render that you can assign a collider to. The cube's just the easiest for this. Drop it down to about the player's height, scale it up a little bit, give it the skill giver script, which automatically adds an audio source. Player tag is player. I'll make sure that matches. Nope, see it's untagged, so I'm going to add player. Give it a friendly name so I can find it easily in the editor. A skill name, we'll say rifle use this time. Combat. Level one. One. Point five, because I know that's how long this sound effect is. Mark is trigger in the box collider and assign it sound effect. And for this case, I'll go ahead and leave the cube visible. And boom, done. Now if I check out the player controller, we now have rifle use. I hope you find good use in using our dynamic skills. It was a fun little exercise, and I'll keep working on it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and please subscribe.